I screwed the wrong fucking thing. I might actually go pressure wash this. Scratch idea. I'm not even going to take the cap off. I'm just going to sweep it out and uh, I'm sure it'll be great. Show you how we slide everything back into the truck for the winter and we get it ski ready, heater. If you like the sweet sound of nothing, then you're going to want to watch the other video I just posted, which is uh, doing the exact same thing without talking. So if that's kind of more your speed, go check that out. Otherwise, I'll give you a little bit more of a rundown on how everything fits in. Uh, I'll, I'll try. In the past, I'll have uh, installed this with the, the drawer slide and everything in there. However, we just resealed this, so we haven't put anything back in it, and it makes it just a little bit lighter. And uh, I'll insert a clip here of Bailey and I struggling to put the cap on. Two of us can put it on uh, by ourselves, but it is a bit of a pain. So we'll eventually come up with some sort of system that we can jerry-rig it. Anyways. You can see on the back side here all the cutouts and a bit of the support for the the back piece and those just slide around there and all the cutouts on this side are for the brackets or for the brackets on there. We'll slide it in. And assuming we put these in the right spots, there's no problem. Ow. There we go. The first big piece is in place. Next thing we're going to throw the drawer slide in. And so the next thing we'll slide in is this floor. At the top right there, you'll see that is just a little bracket to help hold the right side in place. Uh, typically we used to put batteries up at the front, but we may change that up this year. Um, so we'll slide that in. And for the purpose of this video, I will show you just putting the heater in place. I'm not gonna hook it up right now. But uh, it just goes right there. If you're truck camping without a diesel heater, I'm not sure how you do it because the dry heat that's produced from this is amazing. It's quiet and it's pretty safe. So I went ahead and just cut a four inch hole inside my truck. You have your exhaust and your intake. I wire the intake up through the walls of the truck. Like obviously you can't see it out here. And then the exhaust here comes down to the back and it typically will just come out right under here and it'll exhaust away from everything. Fuel can on top, ideally I would do something different, but uh, it is what it is. And then that just gets slid into place here. And we have holes that were cut out on the old one that vent underneath the bed, but also up top. And uh, again, for the purpose of this, we don't have the holes cut out because we replaced that side. So next up, we just got the, we call it the countertop. But it just slides in over here on the back here. Hopefully you can see um, that up there is where the table will slide in. This piece right there. And then it also helps hold up against the side of the bed. So we'll just slide in there and rest. Bada boom bada bing, just like that. At this point, I hope you're thinking, holy moly, this looks simple. It is pretty simple. Because they say it can be removed, people think it's way too complicated, but it's just a couple extra cuts and some more screws, some glue, and you can go away on the weekend or you can work with your truck. So last piece right here to go in, this is the far seat. It also folds up for storage and we'll throw that in. Last but not least, we're gonna throw the rest of this stuff in there. This piece needs to get fastened to the front there. And 
Obviously, it's around the door. We call this the table here, but obviously you need a platform. There are two of us who sleep in here, so we need a big bed. This little piece there. We have a little bit of a cutout at the bottom here, and that way, uh, with the heat that comes up through there, it'll still kind of come up through the back. And then this piece just goes up at the front. Pretty close. Last but not least, mattresses. And just like that, we are in camping mode. Just remember, next time you see this, that will be attached and the heater will be hooked up. But we will sleep just like that. In the summertime, this is how we would go out. Uh, no heater, obviously, and we would have all of our cooking stuff in there. But we wouldn't put a battery in. We wouldn't um, battery inverter, heater. We would just throw everything in here. We're only going for a couple nights, so then we don't have to worry about um, too much. And here we go. Don't mind the butt shot, but we're gonna jump up there. We're gonna turn it into a couch and table. We've had four people in here comfortably playing cards. Uh, use this as another seat. Backrest and boom. Slide this right in here. I am missing the one piece on the far side. For example purposes, tons of headroom, and if you want to have guests, you would just throw this down there if you want to be really comfortable. They can sit on that, or you can use this as a backrest. I don't really care what you do. Anyways, uh, yeah, when it's negative 27 degrees Celsius, which is, I don't know, 10 degrees Fahrenheit, um, yeah, you'll eat in here, and if you want, you can cook in here as well. You haven't yet? Easy peasy. And then uh bedtime you just friggin' do it the opposite way. Boom. Camping ready. And of course, we'll show you how this slides out. All right, I'm gonna fix it just for you guys. Hopefully. I screwed the wrong fucking thing. <laughs> 